Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to show you how to use list comprehensions in Python. List comprehensions allows us to reduce our code in our for loops. So first let's create an empty file by clicking save as. I'm using Kate as our text editor today. So let's click save and then we'll name this list comp dot py so now we can go ahead and create our item list I'll name this item list is equal to open and close brackets and in these brackets let's open and close quotations and let's say item 0 comma open and close quotations again item 1 comma and then one last time let's go ahead and do the same thing for item 2 now that we have this item list, let's see how we would create this with a regular for loop. Let's create a new empty array by saying item ARR is equal to open and close brackets. This instantiates our empty array. Let's go ahead and say for I in range open and close parentheses 3 because we want 3 items just like this item list. So now let's hit enter here and say item ARR dot append and now we are going to append I. But we also want to say item 0, item 1, item 2. So let's go ahead and open and close quotations and type item plus but we need to cast this I to a string data type. We do that by typing str open and close parentheses here. Now let's go ahead and print item list and print item ARR. What this will show us is item 0, item 1, item 2. And then it will do this for loop and give us the same results but we created the item array ourselves. So let's run this by typing python space and then the name of our file listcomp.py and hit enter. As you can see we have the same item 0, item 1, item 2 in both arrays. Let's see how we would do this same thing with a list comprehension. Let's add the list comprehension below item ARR. We'll name this item comp is equal to open and close brackets and in those brackets let's go ahead and say i for i in range of three so this is doing exactly the same thing what this for loop is doing to give you more detail this i represents our zero our one and our two as our loop goes through its functions and this allows us to do some computations on this I here so let's go ahead and say item in quotations plus str open and close our string now if we were to print this item comp you're gonna see it shows exactly the same thing that this for loop is doing so let's go ahead and do that print item comp save and let's rerun the program as you can see here it gives us all of our arrays here's item list item array and item comp a great thing we can do with list comprehensions is add an if statement and this will run if a condition is true or not so if I said if I is double equal to 1, this is going to be true once I is equal to 1. And if I is not equal to 1, it is not true, so it's not going to do anything. So it will only say item 1. Let's go ahead and run this program and test our theory. Let's type Python and the name of our file. As you can see, it only returned one item from the list. A great thing you could do with list comprehension is it allows us to go through each of the items. And what if we wanted to change this item to new item? 
We can do that with list comprehension, so I'll show you now how to do that. I'll say new item is equal to open and close brackets, and inside those brackets, let's say i for i in, and we'll say item list because this is the array here. Now let's go to this i here, the first i, and type i dot replace open and close parentheses open and close quotations and in those quotations we're gonna specify what we want to replace and we want to replace item and then add a comma open and close quotations again now we place the name that we want to replace it with we type new item so what this will do is it will replace any instance of item within this list here and give it a new value of new item so instead of item 0 item 1 item 2 it'll say new item 0 new item 1 and new item 2 so let's go ahead and print the new item variable let's scroll down here and type print new item let's save this and rerun our program as you can see, it replaced item 0, item 1, and item 2 with new item 0, new item 1, and new item 2. I hope this helped you understand how to use list comprehensions in Python. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time.